But now I'm going to invite Penny, and uh, Penny is going to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Penny. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us all safely here today on this beautiful day in this beautiful spot. Thank you for your travel mercies. Thank you for the opportunity to be able to show our love and respect to Mum, Margaret and Chloe, my mum in law. Thank you for our beautiful family that are mostly represented here today. We just thank you for your love and your care for that. Uh, for her in a um, lovely space where she was, um, finally resting at Avondale House. Thank you for the staff there that were most gracious and kind. Thank you for our cousin Maria who was part of that staff. Bless her in her ministry to all of those in their senior years. Thank you for our friends and our extended family as we grew up here in Gosford and a lot of them are represented here now all parents and grandparents themselves that we had such wonderful times and memories with them. Mum meant so much to so many of us and in different ways. She was a prayer warrior and I know that she spoke to you <coughs> regularly and she upheld all her family in her thoughts and prayers, particularly when we were going through difficult times and she would just pray earnestly on our behalf. She loved us all. We're all very precious to her, and we know that she would be rather surprised to see so many come and show their respect to her. Thank you for that connection, and thank you for that love. Thank you for her life. She had a fair life, and she did so many things, but family and home were at the heart of everything. And today we'll just show our respect and do some recollections of her. As she lies asleep in Jesus, we thank you that we have this faith, and she so really had this faith, that when she wakes up on Jesus' resurrection day, she not only will see Jesus' beautiful face, she will be reconnected with her precious eyes, whole and new. And our text that we share today in her order of service in First Thessalonians, which we'll talk later, gives us that wonderful hope of forever life and love with Jesus in heaven. And I know Mum always prayed that all her family would be there. As we lay her to rest, it is asleep in Jesus. It's not it's not for long and it, there will be a future in our receive her home in there. Thank you for your love and your care. Just continue to wrap the loving arms around us all as we breathe this part of life. Please keep each and every one of us and may we just hold all the memories and may you please continue to bless mum and dad's legacy in their life. 